so this is my brother-in-law, Joe Coons. He works at Meridian Printing, and he's really good at origami. So he came up with a way to mass produce these origami masks. They just got their hands on this great uh, filter fabric. So those are in process as we speak. And I've just been amazed by all the people who have used their creative skills to pivot and come up with ways that we can address these really huge problems. Um, I've been playing Corona Bingo a lot. Today I did, uh, this week I filled out all but four of these. So definitely keeping myself busy, um, learning new skills. This is the first time I've done Google Slides, but I've, I'm used to doing different kinds of design work, but just learning it all at once. I'm finally keeping up with my New Yorkers and I've seen how they've been pivoting. Like they went from the gallery views, like I, I was planning on going April 11th to New York to see a new exhibit, but of course I couldn't. But they have a whole list of virtual exhibits they have lists of live streams of music, um, playlists. So they, they've been pivoting and trying to keep up so everyone can communicate. Um, distance learning, it takes me three or four times as long to do a lesson plan now because I have to create all the slides. So it's basically PowerPoint for kids, but two feet that way is my microscope and two feet the other side of me are my art supplies and behind me is my gallery. So I'm making it work. Uh, I've also uh, was doing the live stream of the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and I gr uh, found this great place called um, USA Facts, and it just gives you so much information because I have to do metrics for my uh, social enterprise class, but it, it just helps see like there's so much information there and, and how you can use it and carry it on to people. I even got to go to a live meeting with uh, Paul Roselli, who's also here, and just how can we address these big problems? Like I wanna speak for the trees, but they wanna cut down the trees and put up a solar field. So we have to get disinformation out to people so that people can make the best actions possible. And everything is asynchronous right now. Like I was um, making my face mask and making a puzzle while binge watching my favorite shows. And then I decided that this would make a great placemat for my keyboard. So I glued it together and I was weighing it down with my art books and inside the art book, was one of my drawings from college when I was first teaching middle school and ended up using it in an art lesson that following week. But there's so much we can learn just from nature, like how, do, how does nature do it? How do they filter things? How do they deal with different problems? Bioneering is the way to go. We close the loop. One of our biggest waste products in Rhode Island is food waste, like 32% of the landfill. So I'm trying to get that word out there. I'm also trying to slow down a bit because I can't be stuck in a chair all day so I try to get those exercises out, commune with my bees. Anyone who knows me knows I'm really into the bees. Melissa means honeybee. I just try to get out into nature where like we're finding, I see a lot more people like actually taking time for that. So that makes me happy. Nature is recovering. And you might have seen some of the news stories where there's less air pollution. Like you can actually see mountains, you can see stars. The dolphins are back. Maybe the whales are doing better without the noise pollution. You can hear the birds. I found um, a, a dusky salamander too, and I'd never seen one in real life before. Uh, Project Feeder Watch, that actually ends tomorrow, but the um, image on the right is taken from my window. So I, on one day I had 16 different species and I'm, I'm doing my work and I look outside and I get to see the birds. So it's like I'm in several locations at once, even though I'm just stuck here in my chair all day. And that was the um, same bird taken the week before because climate change is real. Uh, one of the changes we have is that the Northeast Springs are colder and wetter, whereas in, in the North, it's gonna be dr um, drier and hotter. So we gotta adjust. I mean, the birds are still, they're trying, they're messed up too. They're trying to adjust and climate change is a way bigger problem than, than COVID-19, but we gotta deal with both of them. So I try to get away from it all. I go hiking. This is one of my favorite places to hike. Uh, usually when I'm there, I'm the only person. I have the whole forest to myself. And now other people are coming out. So we just got to be responsible, give each other space. And mostly that's been going well. Uh, took my daughter on a field trip because it's all like learned from home time now. She's 13 and she did not want to move out off the couch, but we made it. And she was very excited because we found all kinds of frogs and tadpoles. And we actually took that little guy home and he's been doing great. We've had him for about three weeks now takes about two years for the mature, so we've kind of made a commitment. New discoveries, uh, I was in a tea time with the Rhode Island Natural History Survey today, and they have discovered the first reptile that they know of of Rhode Island, it's the five-striped um, five skink, so it's very exciting. 
that is a, a red back salamander. Um, and don't be this guy. Like if you're going out, you need to car carry out what you bring in. I was hiking another time and everyone was wearing masks and then we leave and there was a family of five and none of them had masks on. And then our car was blocked in and big surprise, there were three car seats in the back seat. So we knew it was them, but don't be that guy. Uh, I'm working on a series of paintings. So I've been able to do that during my Zoom meetings. Uh, this is a series of insects and what they sound like. So this is a fork tail Katie did and it sounds like a lighter. So it sounds like Ch -ch -ch. and the middle one and the, the picture in the middle is actually female. So it does not make that sound. Only the males make the sound. Uh, people say you need to take time to relax and that's actually good for nature too because a lot of animals hibernate in leaf litter. So I've put off a lot of my raking until the last uh, couple weeks. And I did find a woolly bear and I put her in a safe spot. So get some more ma uh, moss later. And what's on your horizon? Like you're not expected to write King Lear, but maybe there's something new you want to learn. I'm always learning like new kinds of mushrooms I can eat. Maybe that's a little too dangerous for you. Maybe you just want to learn like a new way to do your hair or get better at lighting. Like my lighting's all off today because I'm used to teaching during the day. So I just went with it and plan your future. Like I'm in planning phase for doing a festival. Hopefully we can pull it off in September and have a way of, of healing ourselves, getting outside. These are pictures from our festival last year, which is called the East Bay Bikeway Art Day. So hopefully we can pull that off and we can all work on this together and build a better community. Thank you.